Here we have red maple, Acer rubrum, one of Wisconsin's native maple species. It's actually quite easy to identify among the maples because it's got some really distinguishing characteristics. Let's take a closer look. So like all Acer, the leaves are opposite and simple and palmately lobed. But in Acer rubrum, the sinuses or the spaces between the, the uh, lobes are V-shaped. They come to a sharp V as opposed to sugar maple and silver maple and Norway maple that have more rounded um, sinuses. Also the terminal lobe at the tip is about equal in size to the two side lobes. The other thing about red maple are the red colorations <clears throat> that frequently tint the twigs and the petioles. The fruits of red maple are very small. They're you know, barely an inch in size. These are were probably dispersed early in the springtime um, or possibly late last fall. And you can see that they're a small uh, Samara. Now, when they hang on the tree, they're in pairs as all Acer have. And the pair will be dangling in a little V shape like this from the tree. So those are the fruits of red maple. Let's take a look at the bark. So here is the bark of the red maple, and you'll notice it is really quite smooth on all the branches and even on the trunks. It's only really in older trees that you wind up getting some fissuring or some splitting of the bark into rather flat-topped, smooth ridges. So it's probably the smoothest bark of all our maples in Wisconsin. So red maple is a very tolerant tree of many types of ecological conditions. It's widespread growing in dry sandy areas with white pine and oaks or even floodplains and wet areas. So it has the broadest ecological tolerance of all our maples. It tolerates soil of low pH as well. Um, from a management perspective, however, it is not economically valuable. And in fact, in many cases, it's managed against. So it doesn't produce great wood for timber or anything like that, like other species of maples do.